Welcome to our daily Bible devotional. Today is Thursday, June 25th, and I hope that you're having a great Thursday so far. I want to wish happy birthday to some of our members. Today, Brother Jerry Hancock has a birthday. God bless you, Brother Jerry. Hope you have a great day. Now, Brother Steve Parker. Brother Steve's a charter member of our, our ministry. God bless you, Steve. I hope your day is very special. And Brother Lucas Buck. God bless you, Lucas, and have a great birthday today. Uh, don't forget Sunday, Patriotic Sunday, and special service with Brother Aaron Snodderly. And uh, you'll enjoy the service Sunday morning, Sunday night, and then Watermelon Fellowship. We we'll look forward to that after the Sunday evening service. Well, if you have a Bible close to you, would you open it up to the Gospel of John, chapter 14. John 14. And we're reading a couple of verses here and then expound on a little bit. In verse number, beginning at verse 22, And Judas saith unto him, Not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. One of the greatest blessings of being a child of God through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ is being a part of the family of God. Praise the Lord for moms and dads who love their children and who love to spend time with their kids. Uh, in most situations, mom and dad cannot be there 24-7 with their children. Uh, some of them have to go to work, moms and dads, and, and leave their children with either relatives to watch them all day long or the daycare and so forth. But God has promised to never leave us nor forsake us. He's promised to be with his children 24-7, and that's a blessing. Um, we need God daily. You say, well, Pastor, why do we need God daily? Well, uh, one of the reasons is we need God's direction and guidance for our lives. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Like most parents, God uh, teaches us, and he leads us in the right way. Unfortunately, there are some people who think that they know the best way, and so they lead themselves. But the Bible says, there's a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. I remember when we were in Texas many years ago, and our daughter, uh, Noelle, was about two years old. My wife would babysit uh, a few children uh, daily uh, during the week, and uh, the, she was taking them out through the garage to uh, uh, just play in the garage and so forth, and the garage door was open. And Noelle, was about two years old, went all the way to the uh, end of the driveway into the alley. Behind our house, our driveway was an alley, very busy alley. And she got into the middle of the alley and sat down. I don't know what she sat down for, but she just went down in the alley and just sat down and began to just play with whatever was there, dirt, whatever. And my wife happened to be there and, of course, ran over there and grabbed her and got her out of the alley and, uh, and just, you know, scolded her a little bit and tried to explain to a two-year-old, you know, you cannot go into the alley. And so she closed the garage door and so forth. You know, if my wife had not been there, who knows? Noelle maybe could have gotten run over by a car. That's why it's so important to have the presence of God with us. He's the voice that says, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, it's danger, don't go there. I don't want you to go that direction. It's not safe for you. Now, maybe you're here watching today and you say, you know, uh, Pastor, I hear a lot about the presence of the Lord, but, but uh, I can't really say that I feel his presence. Is he really with me? Well, first of all, he promised that he would never leave us nor forsake us, so we know that he's with us. But here in, in uh, our text today, the, uh, one of the disciples, his name was Judas, it wasn't Judas Iscariot, he said, Lord, how come you manifest yourself to us and you spend time with us and you're with us, but you don't do that to everybody? And Jesus gave him an answer. He said, if a man love me and will keep my words, my father will love him and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. In other words, if you really love me and, and want to know my presence, experience my presence, then you need to obey me and to walk with me. And so God is there whether we feel him or see him or not. But to experience the presence of God in your life, you have to be in communion with God. And so that is so important. That's what Jesus was teaching Judas there and the rest of the disciples who were listening. If you really want to know the presence of God, you have to be in communion with him. And so walk in obedience today according to the word of God and you will begin to feel the presence of God in your life 
and hear him say, this is the way, <laughs> walk ye in it, be careful, don't go that way. It's just a blessing to know that God watches over us and he's there with us to guide us in this life. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, thank you for the word of God and what a great reminder that you are with us. You'll never leave us nor forsake us. But God, we want to know your presence. We want to experience the blessing of having uh, the presence of God in our lives, the protection it brings, the, the guidance and direction that we absolutely need to make it through this life. Pray you'll bless God's people today. Thank you for your faithfulness in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great Thursday. God bless you.